guys. Today I'm going to demonstrate how we clean air ducts using the HyperVac Technologies 220 volt equipment. Here you can see me bringing everything in, setting up, zoning off the furnace. We replaced the filter with a stopper. I cut three holes. I uh, put a mat over the coil or heat exchanger. You can see here. Any large pieces of debris will fall in there instead of the furnace. We're then going to set up the back, turn it on, and get cleaning. up to 60 Hertz. Check for negative pressure on the system. Trunk line sunk in a little bit. That's a good sign. Go to each register and just make sure that we're drawing air from each one. You can hear the suction tape the any registers that might be falling through the floor joists we just tape it up make sure there's no air leaks you can see the suction I got there it's quite strong Now I'm pulling in the airline. We're going to set up a sealer door that I have. It's December, so it's a little cold outside. You can see me here just sealing the door closed so that it doesn't stay wide open while I clean. Got 175 PSI, that's a minimum. We're gonna use a forward push ball down each register to blow the dirt and debris, dust down into the trunk line in the basement. Takes a little bit of fight getting it around some 90 degree angles. You gotta make sure you go back and forth and bend it a little bit and make sure that it gets as far as you could possibly get it to the end of the branch line into the trunk. The boot and the register are cleaned at this time as well. Next we're going to go down to the basement, clean the registers that are all in the ceiling. We drill one inch holes to the trunk line to insert our air whips and rods, as well as the Cobra View duct cleaning camera is to have a live view inside the trunk line as I'm cleaning ensure 100% results. Here you can see the camera and I'm going to put it on the screen for you guys here in the after edit so you guys can see what I'm looking at as I'm cleaning. Here I start with forward air whips. We use a couple different types to get the large debris and the fine dust. Doing lots of sweeps into the back.
once we do a few sweeps of that and we're satisfied with the cleaning, we switch to the other side with a reverse air whip. As you can quickly see there in the video, we're going to go to the trunk line that's encased in drywall. I'm looking for a place to put my my camera and my rods. You can see there that's where the trunk line runs through the drywall in the basement. We end up going across the way to get the airline in there nice and straight. We insert it all the way to the back first and then you'll turn on the air with a reverse mo movement and pull the rods back as opposed to pushing them towards the vacuum. Next we're going to clean out the dust and debris that may have fallen into my mat above the heat exchanger or in some instances an AC coil. I'm just going to want to make sure that's nice and clean in there and any large objects, usually it's like golf balls or cat toys that might fall and they don't get picked up by the vacuum. Next we switch to the cold air return. You can see I laid the vacuum down to get more suction. The hole is close to the ground, it's easier to have vacuum close to the ground as well. You can see I uh, am now pushing the dust and debris from the cold air return down into the cold air return trunk line. This takes a little bit of fight as well, and you're going to want to sweep it back and forth a good amount of times and just make sure it's nice and clean in there. Next we do the same thing with the cold air trunk line and the Cobra view camera. First pushing the debris from the far side into the vac. Now go to the opposite side of the trunk line and use reverse air again. You can see I fight with the camera a little bit here. It gets knocked around by my whip. I had it a little bit in an awkward position. You just got to plan out where you're going to put your holes, where your camera and your rods are going to go. So here I'm trying to clean uh, what I think is dust at the moment, but it's really a duct sealer that's been applied some time ago. We also clean out the uh, J transition there connected to the furnace. I don't show it on camera, but checking to make sure what I thought was dust it's just the sealer this is where I found out it's it had been painted some time ago it's nice and clean though next we uh, can't really see it it's off camera but I have the vacuum hose down in front of the blower and it's a fairly new furnace so there was only a little bit of dust beside the blower we just uh, use a little bit of air and vacuum and clean out the blower sometimes if it's a really dirty system you'll have to pull out the blower and give it a wash but here's a before and after video of the cold air trunk line in the main hall and here's the one bedroom cold air return this is a newer portion of it, so the after looked a little bit more shiny. I don't think there was a duct sealer on the far part. Oh, 
100% of the dust and debris is removed from every system. Here we're patching up the holes using stainless steel patches and the proper aluminum foil tape, heat resistant, eight screws in each patch. I also put my sticker on there to show when it's been cleaned. You can use these access panels in the future for any future cleanings. There's also grommets or plugs that go in each of the one inch holes that I cut. I forgot to mention at the beginning as well, we shut the furnace off of course before doing anything and at the end we turn it back on and just make sure everything's flowing good. That's how we do it. vacuum after every single job. watch.